right, Amazon blinked, or Jeff Bezos did, whatever the case, $15 minimum uh, hourly wage now for all workers part-time as well at Amazon. Uh, one of the highest paying retailers, by the way, in the country at an average of $26 or $26,000 a year. Having said that, though, will this be enough to put some of the Amazon critics at bay or the Jeff Bezos critics at bay? And does it reinforce the argument that higher minimum wages are not bad for business? Amazon's a little different. Market Watcher Melissa Armo, we've got former McDonald's CEO Ed Renzi. Ed, to you, now people are saying all these people worried about the damaging effects of higher wages. Amazon's proof that they can and will and do work, you say? I say it's a terrific thing, but let's not kid ourselves about what's going on. With this unemployment rate being what it is, uh, blacks and Hispanics are being hired at a rate never before seen in the last 30 years. Uh, a lot of this is desperation because you've got to have people to run a company like Amazon, McDonald's, Fat Burger, or whatever, and you're going to have to pay more to get them. And to get good quality people, you're going to have to pay more. I think it's great. Melissa, you could make that argument that in a different environment, this, this wouldn't be doable, uh, dare I say, for, for even an Amazon. But this environment might encourage others, not everybody, but what do you think? I definitely think that this puts pressure on companies like Walmart to increase their hourly rate as well, especially going into the holiday season. People well, are going to be have, up but not to this level. I think eleven dollars an hour. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah. But the, but Target has planned to get it up to fifteen by twenty twenty. So there's going to be competition for for jobs, just like Ed said. However, the reason that Amazon is doing this is because look at the tax cut savings. They went from thirty five percent to twenty one percent. You can't have the richest man on the planet worth one hundred and sixty four billion dollars and then employees on food stamps that's not good optics you know the the reality was though uh, they weren't on food stamps uh, you know the fact of the matter was that with average pay packages twenty six thousand uh, dollars you know a night not the billionaire status but it was not like the old days of the walmart criticism but it is going to be very different for a, a, an owner of a local or retail establishment or a small uh, non-chain burger place to do the same right i mean it different cases for different folks right yeah, really, honestly, when people make more money, guess what? They spend more money. And not only that, they feel more independent. They feel more in control of their lives. They feel better. It's going to go back into the economy. No, no, people no, are going to no, make I'm more sorry, feel well, better. I wasn't clear, Melissa, and I'll raise oh. this with Ed. Uh, my only point was that what works for Amazon, Ed, might, might not work for some of those small establishments. I, I understand the, the, you know, the spillover effect and the pay forward effect that you get. But for a lot of those smaller places, it's just not that easy to do. Well, it's absolutely very difficult, in fact, and if you look at, if you just take the total sales divided by number of employees, the total profit divided by number of employees, McDonald's restaurants are about one-sixth of the profit per employee that Amazon is, uh, you know, across the United States. So small local businesses are going to have a hard time with this, and prices are going to go up. There's only one way to recover these labor costs, and that is to increase prices. And uh, it, it's going to be something to see. I went through this in the late 70s, very early 80s. Um, you're going to have to have better benefit programs. Insurance is going to come into play. Better training, better mentoring, uh, more flexibility in the schedule. More job sharing is going to have to happen. There are solutions to the problem for the small guy, but they're going to have to sharpen their pencil and get busy because it's going to be difficult. Uh, Melissa still bullish out there with everything going yes, on? Yes, the Dow made new highs today, Neil. That's Look right. at it. I mean, people are opening up their 401k statements towards the end of the year, going into the holidays. They're going to have a smile on their face. It's really uh -huh. hard to, to not look at your statement and say, wow, gosh, you know, these policies, these Trump policies are working. Even though Trump's taking a lot of criticism, you, you, you uh -huh. can't. The numbers don't lie. All right. Wow. Gosh, you got it. All right. Thank you both very, very much. In the meantime, which would dictate how this all goes five weeks from today? Are those impressive numbers and economy and higher wages or or what's happening with the Kavanaugh nomination after this?